not giving full vent to it, but pretty happy nonetheless. The finals campaign after finishing top of the ladder in home and away has started as intended. The Magpies winning every quarter, in the end doubling the Bulldogs score, which is just about the sum of it because they were twice as good as ever. The goals were shared around. Dane Swan getting into the act, side bottom two. Didac coming late with his usual couple. There wasn't much to write home about for the Bulldogs. Hall, Griffin and Higgins kicking a couple apiece. Uh, shortly we'll be going down to the rooms. Anthony Hudson and Matthew Lloyd have headed down there and we'll be bringing you uh, all the news after our next break. But firstly, Robert Walsh, you have a television to give away. The Panasonic player of the match wins himself a 50-inch Panasonic Viera, full high-definition Neo plasma, plasma TV with SD card slot for JPEG photos and AVCHD videos. Winners this year include Alan Didak, Daniel Cross still side bottom. Jared Grant, Heath Shaw's won it twice. Yes, he's going to take it away tonight. Uh, I think Dane Swan deserves it, Tim. Uh, another fantastic game by the midfielder. 18 contested possessions. He's had uh, a total of 39 disposals. Kicked three goals, set goals up. They just can't stop him. Uh, he is as strong as a bull, team oriented in everything that he does, and uh, he's just one powerful player. He has to be one of the favourites for the Brownlow medal this year and uh, I reckon if, he, if the umpires could have given votes tonight they would have given three to Dane Swan. So he's the one who wins the TV tonight. He personifies that magpie midfield, doesn't he? He just keeps on coming. Yeah. They keep on coming, such are their numbers. The only bad news, of course, the Sharon Wellingham ankle injury by the look of it and we'll hear more of that as we do go down to the rooms, as I said, in a little while. Brad Johnson, you've made uh, the call on that.